Hello, today we're going to talk about guitar picks. Uh, what pick I use on a day to day basis, what other picks I've tried in the past, why I change from one sort to another, how they sound different, how they feel different to me. Um, I've got quite a few, so let's get started, shall we? First up is this really worn Dunlop pick. See, it used to have a picture of a robot on it that's worn off, and it's a Dunlop point. I think it's a one mil, and I found this in the school playground when I was about 14. And I had an old classical guitar, kicked around, and I thought, might as well learn guitar. So I started. So this this is the pick that started it all, started the madness. So that's why I keep that, but it's very, very, very worn and rounded now. So I just keep that as a souvenir. Really. And from then, I became a massive, massive Pantera fan. So I started using these, which are oh, not that, which are Dunlop. 0.88 gauge Tortex picks, which is a plastic that's meant to feel and sound like tortoise shell, but nothing dies for it, which is cool. And I did what Dimebag did because I found they were slipping out of my fingers, so I used some scissors to score the surface, you see, in a cross hatch pattern, and that just gives you some extra purchase. And uh, I find that you get some pretty good release on the notes with this. With this pick. Okay, it's quite thick, but it's not so thick that it's immovable. There's a slight fletch, flex in it. Which means... Which means there's, sort of, there's no delay. Which I find with some really, really thick picks, I find there's somewhat of a bit of a delay when you, after you've picked and when you want the next sound, because you have to release the string. But with the 0.88, I don't, I find that, I find it's fine. So, yeah, I, I like these, I like the shape. But um, sometimes they're a bit too thick, sometimes I like a pick that's slightly thinner because it releases the note a bit better, which is why. I've recently been going on to this sort of pick, which is a an Altex, I think. I don't know, some sort of cheap plastic pick. This one here I got from blackdogmusic.co.uk. Just came free when I ordered some, I don't know, pickup covers or something or other. And I've got this, and I really like it. It's just a thin, adequately made plastic pick. Not the awful rubbish that you get free like this, like this metal hammer one I got. That is really awful because it just, just the plastic goes to splinters on the edges and it sounds really, it sounds really dull. You compare that to the 0.88 green one. You hear the difference. So yeah, not like that. These are. These are these are pretty decent actually, and this is one I got less than a week ago when I got some pickup covers from Philadelphia Luthiers. There you go. And they're nothing special; they're just what came complimentary. But I like the way again. I like the way these flex. I like the way these release. And this one's slightly thinner than the point I ate. I don't know which one this is. This is. No, it doesn't say on it, but it's it came, it came with this one, and it came with an ever so slightly thicker one, which I seem to have temporarily misplaced. But I prefer the thinner one, because it, it releases the note quicker, and I can, I can feel the string bend underneath when I pick. So, this is how this one sounds. slight difference there. I have to dig in slightly harder with the thicker pick to get it to give it enough um, juice that it releases the string. So that's why I prefer this because I can sort of sit back a bit easier and noodle and not put as much effort in to get the string moving. 
So next on the list is this, which is a metal pick. I'm not sure what metal is made out of. Just got it from my local music shop. And it's it's quite it's a really quite a thin metal pick. But I got this because I was really into the Pixies at the time. And when they were recording the I think it was Surfer Rosa or yeah, I think it was Surfer Rosa, uh, Frank Black used a metal pick on the acoustic guitar, which was got that real weird sort of scratchy sound. And I really liked it, so I figured, hey, I'll give metal pick a try and it's about fifty P or something. Um so I, I tried to give this a go. And I bring it out very, very rarely. And it's really weird to use because it's made of metal, obviously. So there's no flex in it. There's not much flex in it as there is with a plastic pick. And so what you get is a really thin gauge pick. But it's really, it acts like a thick pick, a thick plastic pick, because it, it's you've got to put a lot of juice into it to get the note to release. And... When you naturally pick, you don't normally pick down, you sort of pick at a slight angle. And obviously nylon picks are slightly rounded on the edges, they're not just like a knife. Whereas this isn't beveled on the edge at all. It's it's really, it, it's, you know, quite, it's quite like a credit card sort of sharp. So you get quite a, that sort of scratchy note when I try and hit it. But it gives you a sort of weird, interesting tone. that you get with the uh, metal pick. It's almost like when you're playing a solo and you sort of, you've got all the gain going and you sort of go, it's before the note comes out that sort of, sort of thing you get. And I quite like that in places. It can be quite useful. So that's why I have a metal pick. Next is, ah, I got these cheap from a local charity shop because I figure, well, I could do with some new picks, always do with some more, try something new. These are, Chantry, which is a probably made yuppy brand, but I got these because they're tri cornered and I figured they might last longer than normal picks. They're a different shape. I thought, hey, let's give them a go, see how they fit in my hand. And to be fair, they fit pretty well in the hand because they're so big, there's a lot of surface area for your finger to grab onto, so you're less likely to drop these than you are the other ones. One thing I have to say about the metal pick is you can't really score it, so I suppose you're more prone to dropping it. But this, yeah, it's um, it's quite easy to grab onto. However, the pl plastic isn't the best. It's quite similar to the Philadelphia and the what is it? Yeah, and, the, and this one, the Black Dog Music one. But it's quite a bit thinner and I think the plastic isn't quite as nice. But it still sounds alright. This is the the thin one, because I, I think I've wore the other ones out because I've played them so much. But it feels, feels quite nice. It's very solid in the hand. But it's a bit of a weak attack on it compared to the metal, I should say. tried is this which is a Dava pick it's got a rubber grip on it as you can see so it shouldn't slip out of your hand and the grip works pretty well but I wasn't really a fan of this edge because you find it quite difficult to resharpen normally with picks if they go a bit uh, rounded let me find one if you get some that go quite rounded on the edges so like this one's starting to go, this Dunlop's starting to go a bit, a bit rounded on the edge. What you do is you take it along the carpet on the floor and you just run it like that four times and turn it over and then four times. And that slightly melts the plastic on the edge and reforms it so it gives it more of a point. 
and it can make your picks last a hell of a lot longer doing that. But you can't really do that with this because it's thicker around the outside than it is in the middle to accommodate the rubber. So I find that a bit annoying. And I don't find the rubber, I mean, the rubber grip's okay, but I find it feels a bit weird. It's, I'm aware that I've got rubber in my hand because it doesn't feel like the rest of the normal plastic picks. But I suppose it sounds okay. No, you know, nothing fancy. Try the metal. Done a lot. I'll try this, which is my go-to pick at the moment. That's the Philadelphia one. There is a difference there. It's subtle, but there is there's definitely an audio, an audio audible difference there. So um, those are the picks I'm using at the moment. I've had brief flirtations with other ones. I've tried the Dunlop Crocodile ones, but I found them a bit a bit flowery on the outside. They come with some weird sort of powder on them. And I can't, can't, I don't know, can't get it off, can't get used to it. And I've tried these Dunlop Maxi Grip ones, which you've got, you see, like a tread plate sort of design on them, like pre scored, so you can't drop them. But I'm not really a fan of that because I find it irritates my hand and it gets my fingers sore after a while because it's just, it's such an extreme sort of etching. And I've, this pick's really thin as well, actually. This is a 60. 0.6mm, which is a lot thinner than what I normally use. But see again, when you when, it, when it's with a thin pick, there's a lot of doesn't take a lot of pushing for the for it to get for the string to bend. And I find if it's too thin of a pick, there's too much of a delay. But if there's if it's too thick, then it's, I have to sort of give that an extra shove to to get the pick past the string. So it's sort of pros and cons to how hard you naturally hit and what angle you hit at. Because if you hit more of a downward angle, it will react differently from, say, if you pick sort of an outward motion, like, say, Misha Monsour does. Or sort of a James Hetfield sort of pick on the side, sort of almost, you know, scraping, stabbing motion. But at the moment, the picks I go for is, is this... This one, the Philadelphia, and this one, which is pretty much the same. It's a Dorje signature pick I caught at their show in 2012, and I just thought, oh, this is nice. It's a Planet Waves one. I've no idea what gauge it is, but I just there's something about this sort of plastic that I, I don't have a problem with dropping them. I have the, I even have that problem with the Tortex ones, or the Maxi Grip, or I don't know. For some reason... These are the ones I use, and I think they sound the best. I find the some of them are too soft, the metal ones are too hard. These are the ones for me. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments. Bye.